this is Super Smash Bros. Uh, I guess I should say welcome to it, because this is actually one of my more favorite games. And we're not talking about Super Smash Bros. Melee or Super Smash Bros. Brawl. We're talking about run-of-the-mill cartridge, not CD game. And this is actually the first of its series, so alright. So, we got the standard characters here, Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Pikachu, you know, the whole nine yards. Yeah, literally, there's nine characters. And a few that I haven't unlocked. I think one of them's Ness, another one maybe Captain Falcon, and then another one maybe, uh... You know what? I don't know. But, since we're doing just a little quick LP on this, I thought I might as well pick my favorite character, which will be... Just like in Melee and in Brawl, in the one player mode you have a set of stages to go through before you beat the boss. You may even hear my controller in the background. I don't know why he's not attacking. Oh shoot, alright, there he goes. I'll try to grab him. Oh, there we go. Alright, so basically the point of Super Smash Bros. is just to, you know, defeat your enemy. Some of the stages actually have teams of the character, which means that you're going to be needing to feed, like, at least 20, I think. And the way I find to do this easily is just hold up and attack. What this will- oh, okay. Do like that. Because it will literally just kill them instantly. targets, I am absolutely terrible at this. You're just going to have to forgive me here. With Kirby, it's a little bit easier because obviously, you know, you can fly. But the problem is that they place it, like, just out of your reach. Like, you got to jump, hit it, and then, like, straight back a little bit. Like, see, like, see, you got to, like, well, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, 
like this one right here. Like you gotta run and then you gotta, ugh, yeah, just make your way up the ledge there. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kirby also has this little, uh, sword thing. There we go. Ah, good. I don't know, will I actually get to do it this time? Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, usually I never do this because, well, I really don't care. Nice. Gives me like 30,000 extra points. I don't really need it though. So, yeah, actually, uh, I got kind of mistaken there. The character that I stuttered on at the main menu screen, it was actually Luigi that was one of those bonus characters. So basically, Fox is going to be helping us out and beat the Mario Bros., which is kind of cool. And, well, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of cool. So, Luigi is actually very easy to defeat, as long as you just keep punching as Kirby. Yeah, see, Luigi's already dead, and Mario should be dead. Fox is just kicking Cody's butt there, that's, that's just so cool. So we're sort of speeding along through here. Kind of wanted to go faster, but you know. Alright. Got a nice little shot there. And, oh shoot, well, Electro, yeah, Electro obviously explodes like in video game. But what's cool is that if you can get Pikachu up against this wall here, you can pretty much just keep hitting him, and it'll make your life just so much... Whoa, shoot! Charmander! <laughs> that if you can get Pikachu up against that wall, it'll just make your life so much easier. Except I can't do it. Stop shopping me now. Alright. Well, I know it's not good against Thunder, and that stone... I think I have a stone ability. I don't know what Venusaur is going to do up there, but shoot, come on, man. So we got a fan. Come on. You can also throw your items, and that sometimes helps. Finish him off, assuming he does yeah. Yeah, I thought not. So a chance he drops here is actually sort of an egg. You can actually should I die? Alright, come on, Kirby, get your fluffy pink ass in gear here. Ah, god, come on. Okay, well that took longer than I thought. Pikachu is... Oh shoot, that's a big Donkey Kong. Yeah, Pikachu, I would say, has to be one of the easiest to face, but I don't know why it took so long. It took like two minutes. Alright, so our opponent here is this giant Donkey Kong. Yeah, that is a massive Donkey Kong. And what's cool is that since he's so big, you can actually land a lot of free hits on him. Donkey Kong charges up for that punch thing, but that really doesn't seem to work. Uh, let's throw a Pokeball at him. Oh, 
Yeah, now Snorlax comes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's what Snorlax does. He pretty much just... Oh, now Kirby's behind Fox. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, what Snorlax does is pretty much do like a giant ground pound and basically kill everything. So board the platforms. Oh, no, wait. This was the one I was terrible at. Because I... Yeah. Basically, what you're supposed to do here is board the platforms. As you can see, there's a meter at the top of the screen. And there's a lot of these bouncy things here. You really don't know how to get down there. But what you can actually do is use the stone ability. And do that. Come on, come on. Ugh. Oh, God, I, I don't even know how to get that one. Oh, shoot, yeah. So we got four out of, like, what, eight? It's like a failing grade. Alright, so, I guess we're facing ourselves in front of Wispy. Anyone who's played any Kirby game will know exactly who that is. So basically, they just... Oh wait, they gang up on themselves? I did not know that. I thought they were a team, hence the name Kirby Team. Now, these Kirbys, despite them being a team, are actually harder to kill. Like, remember the Yoshi team, there were 18. But since there are only 8, they do have a sort of a higher defense and attack range. Not like that, but they, they usually tend to fight back, unlike the Yoshis. They don't really seem to care about if they, uh, excuse me, if they fall over the edge or not. show off Kirby's ability, obviously he can suck people up. Come on, Sam, let's get over here. Oh, okay, so you don't want to get over there. <laughs> and Sam has pretty much just committed suicide there. Thank you. Now the next enemy is not what you'd be expecting. this, but when he says Metal Mario, it sort of has like a metallic tint to it. It's kind of hard to explain. But this is Metal Mario. All he's doing is basically walking around. He is very defenseful, but you still emit the same kind of damage on him. Well, it's good is that if you knock him over the edge, he will, he will literally just go flying off, and he has like no hope of getting that on him. So what your basic strategy for him is just keep wailing on him until he's at a certain percentage. Sort of like that. Oh, got back up anyway. Now what's also a sort of a pain in the butt about Metal Mario is that he doesn't go far when you hit him as if you were, you know, fighting regular Mario, he'd go a bit far. Shoot. Alright, so I guess we just committed suicide there again. But there you go. Yeah, race to the finish. Alright. So basically, what we need to do here is race to the finish. 
finish, and we have a bunch of enemies who uh, don't want us to go to the finish. So, oh, shoot. Okay, so these are bombs. They're really annoying. I mean, seriously, one just drops down right after the other. We only have 40 seconds to get to the end. One. Yeah. Alright, so we're almost there. We're on the second floor. Got a bunch of these bumpers. We're on the first floor now. Come on. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Oh, look at the talent curvy. But no time. So, my camera's about to die, but I think I'll just let it keep recording. Oh, and I apologize for my stuffy nose. My allergies have been acting up. <laughs> we're, just kidding. we're just hitting them back and forth. It's so cool.
as I was saying, it's a good thing that we're curly because when we turn into stone, we don't get affected by those, like, whenever we fly. And also, we don't get affected by those bullets. God, would you stop snapping? See, watch this. Oh, shoot. Alright, so, this is taking a bit longer than I thought. He's only got 52 HP, which is, uh, about alright. Yeah, see, we barely get hurt in there, which is awesome. Alright, so he's only got 11 HP. I mean, who's gonna die? Me or this guy? Oh man, I almost, almost died there. Oh, come on, 2 HP. Come on, man. Alright, and that is it. That is Master Hand for Super Smash Bros. just get plopped on the desk, and if you want, you can go through this, because I really don't want to. Basically, all you're doing is just hitting names. But, basically, the story is that there are different enemies and different endings for each character. I'm not going to be going through all of them, obviously. So, this is pretty much just a little bonus LP. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did for the 23 and a half minutes that we've been spending here. It's a really good game. I suggest you try it. It's the first of its series, so hey, why not? Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will get back to, with more Curry's Epic Yarn. So, till then, adios.